Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters Encounters video. Well, I was actually alerted to a new subreddit there on the reddit.com website that deals with strange encounters of almost humanoid slash cryptid slash something else type creatures. It's new to me actually, I'm sure this subreddit has been around for a while, but I saw the information on this subreddit and I wanted to share it here. This one comes from the subreddit.com website. They're from Humanoid Encounters, and then there it links to another area called phantomsandmonsters.com, but it has to do with an encounter with a quote-unquote deer man that was there in Pendleton, Oregon. So those of you that live near that area, who knows, you may have a very unique circumstance with this cryptid. What definitely makes it very, very different from everything else is this. This was a deer man with long black hair and a black leather jacket. That's right, almost like a rock star of sorts. So let's go ahead and let's share this information here, and then I'll get my own thoughts and opinions on it afterward. Again, this has to do with the long-haired deer man with the black hair and black leather jacket. So here's what this person stated with their encounter. This incident takes place in the summer of 2001. I had just graduated from Pendleton High School in Pendleton, Oregon. It's evening time at my friend Eddie's house. His parents are out of town, so we are unwinding a bit. Eddie's house was in the Rice Division of Pendleton, Oregon, adjacent to a large field. It's not uncommon to see wildlife, especially deer. So I step onto Eddie's front porch to have a cigarette. I'm standing on the porch and look across the street towards an empty lot full of weeds and I see a deer. At first it appears to be like any other deer I've seen, four legs and a bushy white tail. But as I look upwards towards the torso, I notice it's very different. The top half of this deer was man. You could see his chest, arms and head. He had long black hair and was wearing what looked like a black leather jacket. I stared at this creature for a long time and it never notices me on the porch. Drag after drag of my cigarette, I stare at it, not blinking, was probably only a couple of minutes, feels like a lifetime. This creature never moves, it's just staring off into the distance. And so I turn around and open Eddie's front door and yell inside, hey Eddie, Come check this out. And he says he's coming. And as I turn back towards the creature, it's gone. And so Eddie steps outside and says, what's up? And I say, never mind. And we both go inside. Eddie asked me what I saw. And I said, I thought I saw something, but I guess not. And I never did tell Eddie what I saw. A few days later, I'm at work. I work in the produce department at a local grocery store. I step outside to have a cigarette and one of our regular customers, a Native American man, is outside drinking a can of beer. I stop to talk to him. I tell him what I saw a few nights before and he says to me, that's a spirit, a shapeshifter, skinwalker slash windigo. I was like, oh wow, okay thanks, and then he says to me, stay away from it if you ever see it again. I told a few people the story over the years, mostly just laughs and accusations of being stoned. Before this incident, I've never heard or seen anything like it. It's been 21 years since it happened, but feels like yesterday in my mind. And then that's it. That's everything that this user, this anonymous user, stated with their very unique encounter. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. First off, anyone there from the Pendleton, Oregon area? Anyone know if there's these strange sightings just like that? Let me know, please, in the comments below. So let's talk about that creature, right? It's a deer, half man, half deer, but it has long black hair and what looks like a leather jacket, a black leather jacket. Wow, did that stand out. I don't think this guy, this user, would have said black leather jacket without meaning a black leather jacket. Like, it probably could have been some other type of wardrobe. Who knows? Maybe some other type of cultural wardrobe but it's pretty distinct right you would recognize a leather jacket for being what it is in this case a black leather jacket and the fact that he stated 
He stared at it for a long time. It looks like a couple of minutes, but obviously that was a lifetime to him. Again, that was enough time to be able to stare at it and get good details across it. He could have changed his mind and said it was something else. But no, whatever this thing was, this half man, half deer, it had that long black hair and it had that black leather jacket. What it was doing there, who knows why it decided to disappear as is. Who knows as well? I don't even know if that territory there involving where Eddie lives, if that is prone to such unusual circumstances, but that's essentially what this guy saw. Now, when he actually was working at that grocery store and he spoke to that Native American, it was interesting that he stated it was a shapeshifter, like a skinwalker, Wendigo. Uh, did, I hesitated on saying if that was the case here. I'm not 100% sure either. You can take your word, in other words, of, of that uh, nice Native American man for saying this. Um, but at the same time, one has to wonder, a leather jacket, like how does that stand out? That's the first when it comes to these type of encounters, if it truly was a skinwalker slash windigo. I have no idea. Like this is just a very perplexing story, very uh, unique, especially when it comes to all of my entries here. Here you have something that looks like a rock star mixed in with a, uh, a deer, and it's galloping there within the vicinity of that friend Eddie and his compound there. So who knows essentially what that is. It happened 21 years ago, and this dude still has that experience fresh in his mind. I imagine if somebody would ask him again if he changed his mind about, let's say, what that creature was wearing, I imagine he would still state that it's a leather jacket. So, again, it makes you wonder what that could be. Could this be something that was truly shape-shifting in between? Maybe it was a man that had the leather jacket, the long black hair, but then it was turning into a deer who knows when it comes to that. But if anybody has any more info, anything else I might have missed, then please post those comments below. Again, those of you in the local area, love to hear what your thoughts are. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care.